In today's video, I'm going to be trying to make my old bucket seat look newer than what it does. Now, this seat has seen a lot of sun damage. As you can see, this side is uh, more faded than that side. And then if you look in here, uh, it's probably not going to show. It's a lot darker in here than it is. Oh, you can see right here. It's darker in here than it is out here. Um, and the reason for that is because I had this in my old 240 and that car sat a lot. So this had got really sunburnt because I didn't have any tint. Um, so this has got really sun faded and sunburnt, whatever you want to call it. And then now this gets all the direct sunlight from the windshield. Um, I've never had a windshield tint on any of my cars except for this one. Um, so I feel like once I put this in, it'll stay a lot nicer than what ha did end up happening to it. Um, now these, the pads, if you can see, this is what they should look like, nice and black, and that's what they look like. Um, I don't really want to um, spray this because it, I think it's cool the fact that it says bride. I know the wraps. I know why am I um, trying to show off something that I don't have, whatever, blah, blah. Um, I'm not trying to say that my seat is a real bride. I know it's not a real bride. I just like the font. So I think I'm just going to take all these out and then just paint this with some fabric paint. I might leave these little elbow pieces uh, or whatever you want to call these the way they are just to give it some contrast and then probably leave these letters um, the way they are and just kind of try to paint around them. So that's what today's mission is going to be. Try to get this bucket seat looking new again. So I got all the letters masked off. It's not the best job, uh, but it's definitely gonna look better than spraying on top of that. I did also cover these little pieces right here. Um, I also removed these little plastic pieces. I also did the rear. You can see how faded and ugly and like yellowish it almost looks. Uh, so now I'm just gonna take off all these pads. They come off really easy. Uh, just like that. That one. Ooh, found some money. And then this one, and like I said, look how dark they're supposed to look and how they actually look. You can just see the difference right there. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick little before and after. Now I'm just going to spray it, um, like I said, this is the fabric, vinyl fabric paint I'm going to be using, it's by uh, Duplicolor, runs you about 8 bucks, maybe like 9 with tax, and I think I'm only going to use one can, I don't know if I'm going to use a whole can, um, this is my first time doing this, I forgot to mention that, so I don't really know uh, what to expect and how much this can's going to last, but I'm pretty I think I'm going to use it all, um, and I think it's going to take a lot of this in order to make it you know kind of turn black I don't think it's gonna be like actual paint where you just paint over it and then it turns into that color if that makes sense uh, I feel like this has to soak in there um, and in order to make the color look nice and rich I'm gonna have to use the whole entire can guys so this is one coat and uh, one coat ran me about half the can which um, used a lot more than I thought um, but then again I did do it pretty heavy I don't know if you're supposed to do it heavy I don't think it matters because this is fabric it's not like a primer or a paint where you need to do a light coat um, or a tack coat and then actually like a heavy coat so I just did the first one pretty heavy um, and even like that, even if I wanted to leave it like this, this was so much better than what I had. Um, but I do want to use the whole entire can and then see how it is. And if it still looks faded and uneven, then I'll buy another can and do it. Uh, but what I am trying to focus more on is putting more paint or more dye, whatever you want to call it, on this part where it's faded. Because as you can see, um, I did probably, I want to say like 75% here and 25 here. 
or actually more like 60 and 40 and it's still showing that it's really faded so I think I want to switch it up to maybe like 80 and 20 because this already looks nice and just try to make this look better this is one entire can I just went to go buy another one uh, I mean the reason for that is because I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but it's a little blotchy in some places and then I also uh, didn't notice this because I was doing it um, towards like uh, nighttime so it's starting to get dark and this bottom section right here is still kind of faded and I thought oh the seats are going to cover it but I never realized that the seats aren't really or the cushions that's a shay the cushions aren't really that thick they're probably about two inches thick max so it's not going to cover this so you're going to see this um, so I want to put some more dye paint whatever you want to call it here and then overall just try to not make it look so blotchy um, but you can't really tell that it was once faded more on this side than this side it looks pretty even now but it just, it kind of has a weird texture now, like, like it's crunchy, if that makes sense. Huh. Um, I don't know, you can't really expect much from it, but it does feel, um, like I said, a little crunchy. But I don't know if it's because this is just how the seat used to be. I don't really remember. I haven't sat in this seat for probably over a year. Um, so I forgot what it felt like, but it's not that bad. Uh, it's only like your skin when you do like this, it kind of hurts a little. But you're obviously not going to be uh, <laughs> driving naked, at least I'm not. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to probably do another half a can. Um, and I think I would call it a day. Also, I forgot to mention, this is probably three heavy coats, maybe four. I also want to mention that this is more like a dye, not a paint. And the reason I say that is because with paint, if you were to do two light coats, like let's say on this plastic piece right here, you do two light coats and it pretty much covers the whole entire thing. Now on this, you could do one heavy coat and it'll look nice and dark and then you'll walk away and come back 15 minutes later and it looks like you didn't put anything in there um, because this is uh, fabric. So it needs to soak in. So you spray it, it looks good and you walk away and it comes back and it's like soaking in. So just uh, have that in mind when you're buying your uh, paint or your dye just so you know how much to buy. Um, and also when you're spraying it, don't think, oh, it's not working. It like just disappears. It just has to soak into the fabric. And this is what I mean much like dye, not really paint. Because paint, two light coats, and that pretty much covers a majority of it. All right, guys, so the seat is now all done. Um, I didn't end up painting this because I wanted it to look um, a little like contrast. So it didn't all look black. Because I feel like when a seat looks all black, especially when the reps, they look really, really cheap. Me personally, I just like uh, the contrast, the way this is black, and just I like how there's more than one color here. And that's also why this is um, kind of faded or gray, whatever you want to call it, and not black. Originally, this was not black to begin with, um, but since that's a little bit faded and this is really black, you can tell there's a big difference in it. Overall, though, I do like how it came out. It definitely does not look anything near as bad as it did look looks a lot better but I will say this that it look it is like a really rough feeling now um, you know you can't really expect much when you're dying an old seat like this or painting an old seat especially for like spray paint but it did come out a lot better than I thought I thought the spray paint was gonna come out really bad this is a rep seat so this is kind of like junk and I was like if I can make it work I'll try to make it look good if I can't then oh well it's a used cheap seat it doesn't really matter um, but I'm really kind of impressed with how this die works. I've heard people using it on actual dashes like that on the cars and actual plastic pieces. So I've never tried that. I'd like to try it on something. But trying it on fabric, I really like how it came out. So now I'm going to be throwing this into the car. But that'll be a different video. I don't want to make this video too long. So I'll be honest, it doesn't look as good as a new seat and it probably looks a little cheesy but it looks a lot better than what it did before and if you guys want to try this on your seats I would definitely recommend it. I want to see the finish comes out to like maybe like a 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, <clears throat> my bad. Um, you're not going to get the OEM results like what it looks like from the factory and it's not going to be as soft um, but it looks really nice. I also uh, want to mention this. I tried getting a white rag and rubbing it on the part that I painted to see if any of the dye would come off 
um, to see if it would get on my clothes. And it's been drying for, I want to say, a week, about, about a week. And it's, I think it's dry enough because uh, I didn't get any dye or paint on the rag. And I'm wearing a gray hoodie and I uh, kind of rubbed on it just to see if anything would come off. And nothing came off. So I'm pretty confident um, that it's going to be good. But we'll see once I sweat or something. I don't know. It's kind of gross, but we'll see when that happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys.